Thanks for watching the Market Day Report. I'm Janet Adgeson. While Democratic presidential candidates were in the Midwest over the weekend meeting with voters, surveying flood damage, and explaining their visions for rural America, RFD TV's Sarah Mock joins us live from our DC studios for more on the Heartland Forum. Well, thanks, Janet. We did see this event this weekend in Storm Lake, Iowa, where we really saw these Democratic presidential candidates do something that didn't happen in 2016, which is have a really focused, concerted rural platform. Uh, and then going out into rural America, not just in Iowa, but, but also looking to other, to other places to really sell it and join in that conversation about rural issues in particular. The issues addressed yesterday at the, or on Saturday, actually, at the event really ran the gamut, everything from, you know, gun control related specifically to the rural suicide crisis to rural health care, rural immigration, uh, and even soil erosion and, and things like conservation, there was discussion of the farm bill. But really kind of the cornerstone of all these conversations for most of the candidates was economic issues, specifically consolidation in the ag industry and, and, and candidates' efforts to uh, enforce American antitrust laws. When we're in a situation where 78% of the seed for our farmers is controlled by two companies, and our railroads now for class one are down to four, the same number as on the monopoly board, um, I think we are now entering what is essentially a new gilded age, and we need to take on the power of these monopolies. Now, I think when it comes to rural America, we're going to hear that conversation around antitrust, around tackling some of the consolidation in agribusiness is going to be really a focus of the Democratic platform for sure. Uh, we heard that from not only Amy Klobuchar, as you saw in that clip, but also Elizabeth Warren, uh, Delaney, a former congressman from Maryland who will be running, Julian Castro even, the former Obama era Labor Secretary touched on it, and though we did, the one kind of standout was actually Tim Ryan, who is a, a current congressman from Youngstown, Ohio, who does not, has not officially announced a, a bid for the presidential candidacy for the Democratic Party, but is, was at this event because he's thinking about it. Uh, he talked a lot more about manufacturing. Being from the Rust Belt, he's really focused on kind of bringing some of those good manufacturing jobs back. He talked a lot about uh, high-tech manufacturing and, and what needs to happen on the policy side to bring some of those jobs back to the United States. So I think the other big thing was the kind of glaring absence of, of so many of so many other Democratic candidates. Uh, this was a bipartisan event, but we didn't, obviously, th the main person running on the Republican side is President Trump, who was busy with other things this weekend. But we'll be looking to hear what some of these other candidates say for why they missed this weekend's event. All Janet? Right. As always, Sarah, thank you very much for the update. And, of course, we'll continue to check back in with our Washington News Bureau on this.